What's up YouTube, back again with another video, and today, yes, we're going to install and take a look at and see what we can do with these RDQ BL Heli 32 30 amp ESCs. Now, I have no packaging uh, here because they just came in a little foil sleeve, uh, and this is all you get. You don't get uh, any heat shrink, you don't get any wires, you don't get anything, so I guess that's kind of how they keep the price down on them because they're like $12.95, link will be in the description. Uh, and here we go. Here's a look at it. We'll install it and then we'll get into some of the software and hardware. Uh, we're also going to check out the Beale Heli 32 Android app, which is uh, pretty sweet actually. Um, and it looks like there's an LED on there maybe? It's kind of what that looks like, right? And I'm going to try to hook up telemetry for the first time because I've never actually messed with it. And I figured, why not? And I got this... Uh, we're going to put it on this Fox here, F405, which has telemetry pads right here on the outside. So I figured this would be a nice, easy uh, board to try that out on. So let's get right into it. I'm going to use 16-gauge wire for the power leads, and we're going to use 26-gauge for the telemetry and the signal. And uh, we got some heat shrink. So I'll show you one, and they're all going to get done the same way, so I'll show you one. And then uh, we'll get to the software part of it, the kind of cool part. But I'll show you how I solder, or you know, how I install uh, single ESCs. So I like to prep this stuff up first. So prep is everything with soldering. Prep is everything. So we got little pools everywhere. So we're looking good. Now, here we go. Again, we're kind of, I'm kind of replacing ESCs that were already on here. All right, now because I want to be able to get this heat shrink over all of this, we have to kind of do this in a specific situation or specific order. So first I'm going to do, and I'd like to get the wires kind of cut nice and clean. So what we're going to do is I'm going to solder the motor wires on first and then we'll slip the heat shrink over it to the back while we solder on everything else. Now, let's get rid of the blue tack. And I'm going to take the heat shrink, slide it over, and I'm going to—I want to use clear for this because, I, like I said, I think that's that's an LED there, so we're going to mess with that. So, with this slid down, now we can cut some wire and get ready to solder on the power cables and all that good, good stuff red and black and we can see on here that's a negative and then there's a little positive so spin that around so we want to get the positive where the positive is
Okay, so with the power and positive and negative soldered on, we can go ahead and get on our small little signal and telemetry lines. We don't need a whole lot for this. Now with all those lines on, we could slide up the heat shrink and shrink this in place and get our ESC in place and then cut our wires exactly kind of where we want them. And we're going to use the VHB. Now, when you're using the VHB, all right, and you're going to stick this down kind of for its last time, I like to make sure that the positive and the negative are in the right spot. So we got positive on this side, so we want to put it this way. If your positive was over here, you could flip that over and stick it down. Uh, you could do it that way, but also, like I said, for this one, we got this LED. I believe that's an LED. We're going to find out when we plug this guy on. It looks like it, but I, get, I mean, I could be wrong. Electronic parts look crazy all the time. So it's going to go this way, and I'm also lucky because that's in the right order. Because kind of crossing these really thick wires can be a, kind of a pain in the butt. So stick this down again I like to leave a touch of slack here so it's not super tight and that's where that bad boy is gonna go now same deal for the wires for all the rest of these wires I like to leave a little slack I don't like everything to be super super tight but we don't have a long way to go here so we're gonna kind of bend it down a little bit Whack that guy there. Same thing here, kind of bend it a little bit. Whack that there. And these guys are going to go here. So we'll put a little bend in them. Make sure we got enough space. With everything prepped, now we're going to go ahead and get these guys soldered where they need to go. So we're going to put a little bend and then let this heat soak through because this wire is a little thicker. So take your time. Let that get melty. And there we go. We are connected. Same thing with this positive line or uh, negative. And let that heat get in there and soak into that pad, soak into that wire. Get everything nice and melty. There we go. So we made blue PWM and green is the telemetry. So cut this a little shorter. All right. We made blue telemetry and green or blue blue is the signal line, so we need to connect blue to the motor signal pad. And then green is telemetry, so that goes to the UART4 telemetry pad here.
And there we go. So we can kind of tuck that down. And there we go. That is one ESC fully installed with telemetry and everything. So I'll get all four of these done. So that is how we install uh, these RDQ ESCs onto a frame. Uh, you can see we got them finished up here. Uh, we went into the software and we got the LEDs. So these definitely are LEDs. We got them working, we got them ticked up. We got everything ready to go and we are spinning. If you want to see how to use the Bill Heli 32 app on Android and how to get telemetry actually working, uh, I split this up into another video. So uh, the card should be at the end of this video if you want to keep going on to that. So definitely check that out. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep burning some packs.